Welcome back to my garage. Here's a few tips on carburetor tuning. If your carb is brand new or old, doesn't matter, take it apart and clean it well before you start tuning. Not just focusing on the jets, but also all the internal passages. Take out all the screws, basically dismantle everything and clean it up. There may be burrs in there or there may be some dirt or who knows, from the factory or from using it on your bike or car. Useful tools are a brush, carb cleaner or brake cleaner, compressed air and a good eye. Before you start playing with the jets, set your float level. Now this carb is a bit special because I have drilled out the float jets so it's not really representable. I'm running methanol and nitromethane. You should set your float height to factory spec if you find that. If you can't find that, set it so that the float is parallel with the carb body when the float is just starting to compress the pin on the float needle. If this doesn't work you'll have to start experimenting with different heights and see what works for you. A clear float pole is great for finding your correct float height. The reason I have this red one and not a clear one is because the clear ones was out of stock when I bought it. I got stuck with this stupid awesome red color. Most carbs have three circuits or three adjustable circuits. The main jet, pilot jet and the needle jet. The pilot jet works from idle to quarter throttle. The needle works from quarter throttle to three quarter throttle. And the main jet is most effective at three quarter throttle to wide open throttle. There's a lot of overlap. If you adjust one thing, the other circuits will be affected. When you start tuning, get the pilot circuit in the ballpark first. This makes things a lot easier because it's really painful to tune a bike that won't idle. You've got your bike idling, now remove the main jet fully. Start it and see if you can go wide open throttle. If it stalls, everything is fine. If it doesn't stall, your needle jet is too small or your needle is too fat. Start out with a very large main jet and work your way down from that. This is much safer than going the other way around. If you start with a small main jet and work your way up, you might seize your engine before you even get to tune it properly. If you are experiencing bogging between quarter throttle and three quarter throttle, try moving your needle clip up or down. Try not to lose your needle clip on the floor. I like to keep my pilot circuit and my needle rich. This reduces the possibility for detonation in high RPM but low throttle opening situations. That's because at high RPM but low throttle openings the flow is highly reduced and so is the piston cooling and as the piston cooling is reduced there is a lot of heat buildup and this can lead to detonation. Running rich will reduce the risk of detonation from this higher heat input in the piston. A power jet is just like any other circuit in the carb. Where the outlet is positioned in the throttle body decides when it starts flowing. So mine is about in the middle, so it will start flowing at around half throttle. I've also added this uh, RC fuel valve to give me an adjustable power jet. Okay, hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time.